Welcome to the tutorial on the scientific method for journalists. This tutorial will discuss a methodical process journalists can use and the specific steps they should always take when researching stories. Since the founding of our country, journalists have been seen as investigators, people who check into stories by researching them in order to see if the information is true. The public has always looked to journalists to inform the people accurately. As a journalist, you need to get into the habit of thoroughly researching all of your stories before reporting them so that your readers can trust that the information you are reporting is accurate and reliable. Failure to research the validity of your stories will lead to your audience not trusting your reporting and as a result, ignoring whatever you do report. Therefore, you will want to ensure that you thoroughly investigate any stories you do publish. When you conduct your investigation, you will need to look into the accuracy of the information you have found to verify its truthfulness. You will also need to ensure you are fairly investigating the facts and getting all sides of the story. Focusing on just one perspective makes your reporting biased and limits your ability to investigate the truth. Of course, you also need to be thorough in your investigation. It will be important to use multiple sources to corroborate each fact. In addition, you will need to pay attention to each little detail to ensure all the facts align accurately. Finally, you should reveal your sources to your audience as much as possible so that your readers can evaluate for themselves how seriously they want to take the information you are reporting. Getting people to speak to you on the record and hyperlinking to websites that display relevant evidence are just two examples of how you can be transparent with your research. While journalism is not exactly a science, journalists can learn a lot from scientists. For example, when researching a problem, scientists follow four basic steps known as the scientific method. These steps help scientists thoroughly investigate the problem. The steps include 1. Identifying the question or problem at hand. 2. Doing the research on the issue to determine the best way to approach the problem and to learn enough background information about the topic to successfully investigate it. 3. Performing an experiment that puts the problem to the test. And finally, 4 reporting the results of the experiment in a way that allows others to verify the legitimacy of the tests, such as by revealing how the tests were conducted so that others can repeat the experiment if they so choose. While journalists do not need to conduct an experiment per se, they can also use a similar four-step method for researching their articles. The following steps help journalists to investigate their stories. One, identifying an idea. Two, doing research on the idea to determine the best way to approach the topic and to learn enough background information about the issue to successfully investigate it. Three, conducting interviews, doing detailed research, etc. to investigate the facts associated with the topic and find the truth. And four, reporting the results of the investigation in an article and doing so as transparently as possible. Since all those steps can be a lot to take in at one time, we are going to take a few minutes to look at each one individually. The first step, of course, is to identify a story idea. This can be challenging to do, particularly if you have trouble with brainstorming or tend to get writer's block. However, there are still lots of options for you. First, your discussions with other people who are interested in the subject matter that your website focuses on can be great resources for story ideas. Ask them what they are wondering about, what they have heard other people talking about, and what they would like to see changed in the industry in order to find potential story ideas. Also ask them about their experiences with the subject or about people they know in the industry so that you can have options for people to profile. Second, you can get many ideas about what is trending in your subject area by checking out various social media platforms. Connect with your friends on your social media platforms who are interested in the topic your website focuses on. 
Also, check out what experts in the industry are saying on their public social media platforms. Additionally, it can be helpful to research websites that specifically focus on your subject area to see what people are talking about on those discussion boards. Other stories and publications are terrific sources of information, too. Frequently, you will find that newspaper articles or journals that focus on the subject of your website may be reporting on interesting topics that you can also report on or that give you ideas of other relevant stories to investigate. Your connections in the industry may also give you tips about what is going on behind the scenes or what the latest trends are as well which would allow you to investigate and eventually report about those claims. Finally, your own research into a subject may help you to identify potential story ideas. For example, if you are doing background research into the subject you're focusing your website on, then you may come across terms, situations, or issues you were unfamiliar with. Those issues can be great things for you to research, not just for yourself, but also for your readers so that they can become more informed on the subject matter as well. Once you have identified a story idea, then it's time to start doing your research into the issue. Nowadays, most journalists conduct the vast majority of their research on the internet. Such research allows journalists to access large amounts of data quickly if they know where to look, which is discussed in the lesson entitled Researching Data. Research can also be done by reviewing public records. Public records are frequently available online, although sometimes you will have to request such records from a government office, which can take time. We will learn about those later in the course, though. Journals, magazines, periodicals, and other publications, particularly the ones that focus on the subject matter you are researching, will also be useful tools for discovering the needed information for you to get up to speed on a topic. Finally, proprietary sources, which are sources that are owned by a specific entity, can be extremely helpful research tools. As full sale students, you all have access to the university's library, which allows you to retrieve information from about 10 different databases filled with information on various topics. Additionally, you can always choose to subscribe to publications or databases relevant to the subject matter your website focuses on. Once you have done your preliminary research into the topic you selected, then it is time to really investigate the details of the story. This is where it can be extremely helpful to get out of the house and go interview people. Whether you are interviewing experts in the industry, eyewitnesses to important events, or participants in the stories, interviews are a terrific way to get lots of detailed information about the topic you are researching. Interviews, as we will discuss later in the course, allow you to ask basic questions to check both your understanding of a topic and your interviewee's understanding of a topic. They also allow you to ask very specific questions and get in-depth answers to your questions, and therefore your readers' questions. Another way to further investigate your story idea can be to carefully analyze the data you collected during step number two. Looking for trends in the data, as well as exceptions to the trends, can help you to identify where the story lies and what is true. Finally, delving into the research even more than you did in step number two can be extraordinarily useful. Often, you will find that after doing some background research and conducting some interviews, you need to do additional research into the topic in order to fully understand it and or be able to determine the veracity of what you were told during the interview. There's nothing wrong with this at all. A good journalist does not stop researching until he or she is 110% confident that the information being reported is accurate. Once you have double-checked that all of your information is correct and you have learned something from your investigation, then it is time to report your findings to your readers. Journalists do this to inform their readers about new information. When you report your story, you want to stay objective and show your readers an unbiased perspective on the situation. Your research, which you will be as transparent as possible with, will help you to do this. You can tell your readers who you interviewed, in most cases at least, 
and where you found the data you were reporting. You can also show your readers that you double-checked the information by explaining what other sources substantiated those facts. Finally, it will be important to follow up with the topic after you report it. Was there any backlash from the story you reported? Were other questions posed about the issue? If so, then go research those topics next so that your readers feel like you are completing the entire story. Those are the four steps of the scientific method for journalists. Moving forward, try to force yourself to go through each step diligently. With time and practice, you'll get used to taking these steps and they'll become an automatic part of your routine as a journalist. Thank you so much for listening and good luck developing your stories.